If you've just bought yourself a Radio Master Zorro transmitter, it'll come ready flashed with Edge TX. You can think of Edge TX as the operating system for the radio, a bit like Windows or Mac OS. And just like those systems, new versions are released by the developers to add features and fix bugs. So I always recommend installing the latest version and keeping up to date as the new production releases appear. Now, the Zorro is available with two different internal RF modules. A 4-in-1 multi-protocol module or an Express LRS module. It doesn't matter which version you have when you're updating Edge TX. But if you've got the ELRS version, like this one, you can and should upgrade to the latest ELRS firmware. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is YouTube. You know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. I'll take you through step by step on how to flash Edge TX and ELRS firmware on the Zorro. But first you need to back up the existing radio settings. All the settings for the radio and the models that you've created are saved as YAML files on the SD card in here. So what we do is connect this to our computer using the USB connection at the top. Don't use the one at the bottom, that's for charging. And it'll give you three options, joystick, storage or serial. What we want is storage. Select that. And if we go into Finder, same thing in Explorer on Windows, you'll find that you've got two new map drives. They are very distinct. So this is RM Zorro, and it may not be named the same on your machine. This has got firmware bin and firmware text. This is the internal memory of the radio. You don't want to touch that. This RM Zorro SD is the SD card. So to back this up, because everything is stored in here, as you can see, we've got all these different models and we've got some radio configurations stored as YAML files. We just copy all those and we can store those somewhere on our computer. Now I've got a backup for everything. I'm going to create a new folder. I'll call this 2022-03-09. And I'm just going to copy that into there. It takes a little while. Now it's all safely backed up, you can flash the latest Edge TX firmware. So if you go to Edge TX Buddy, and I'll leave a link in the description, have a read through the changes that have been made for the latest version. And when you go into Edge TX Buddy, it'll default to the latest version. You can choose older ones if you want. But we are going to choose version 2.6.0, codename Santa. And I just select my radio, which is a Radio Master Zorro. There's a couple of ways to update the radio. You can flash direct from Edge TX Buddy with the radio connected to the PC via USB. You just use this button over here, connect a device and so on. If you use that method, make sure the radio is turned off before you start because you'll end up in all sorts of strange confusion because it needs to connect in DFU mode. Or the method I prefer, mainly because it's much faster, is to download the bin file from here. Copy it onto the SD card on the radio and flash it from there. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see. So we'll go download and I'm going to store it onto my backup drive. That's great. So now I will copy that onto the SD card on my radio. Now don't forget, don't use this guy here. That's the internal memory on your Zorro. The SD card is what you want. So if you go into firmware and you'll see there's already a few different bin files on here. That HTX Zorro 2.6 is the original version that the radio came flashed with. So although it's the same version number, this is the one 
from the open source HDX Git repository. So if we just grab that and copy it over here. Now you can disconnect your radio from PC and turn it off. Now what we need to do is start the radio in bootloader mode. So if you just hold both trim tabs in and turn it on. So now we're in bootloader and what we want to do is write firmware. And this kicks us straight into the directory where we just copied that bin file, the Zorro 2.6.0.bin. Scroll down and select that. Hold enter to start. And there we go, it's writing. And the reason I like doing this is because if you do that same thing using HTX Buddy, it takes about 10 times as long. Fantastic. Just return and exit. Welcome to HTX. Just long press the sys button and page left to see the version page. And you can see here we've got version 2.6.0, which is fantastic. And this update won't screw with any of your existing radio or model settings. If you find there is a problem, just restore it from your backup. Now the radio's flashed with the latest version of EdgeTX, we need to flash the internal Express LRS RF module with the latest ELRS firmware. If you've got the multi-protocol module version of this, that's not relevant, so you're done. The first thing you need to do is to install the Express LRS configurator if you haven't got it already installed. So if you go to the Express LRS configurator GitHub repository, and I'll leave a link in the description, you can see the latest version is 1.3.9. And there's some release notes in here and the various downloads to install. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to download the DMG, but there's versions for Windows, Linux, etc. Okay, so let's install this. I've got an old version, so I'm going to replace. Fantastic. And let's run this. Now, if you get this message come up, don't worry. It's just prompting you that it doesn't know that this comes from a verified developer. So if you say cancel, Go up to the system menu, system preferences, select security and privacy, and choose open anyway, and open. It's just allowing you to confirm that this is okay to run. Now whilst it's firing up, I'm going to connect my radio. First of all, I'm going to turn my radio on. Welcome to HTX. And plug it in to the computer via USB. You'll get the usual three options. Now this time we're going to choose serial because we're going to chat to this across USB to do the flashing of the new version. So select serial. Okay, so this is all up and running. We're on version 1.3.9, fantastic. The latest version is 2.3, great. We need to choose a category and we are oops if I could, <laughs> come on uh, we are on radio master 2.4 and the device is the radio master zorro 2.4 and it's tx remember we're flashing the transmitter not the receiver so choose tx we're going to flash using edge tx pass through which is just running across the usb i'll download the lewis script that Lewis script matches this version of uh, Express LRS and you'll copy it onto the SD card a little bit later. So this is all fairly standard and I use bind phrases. It's just changed my life. Trust me, it makes life so much easier to use binding phrases on um, ELRS. Uh, these are all standard, that's fine. So we just say build and flash. Now the first time you do this, it may take a little while and it may also prompt you to install some other bits of software because what this is doing is taking those options that you've selected and building a version of the firmware on your PC. I'm hoping I won't get prompted for any. Ah, so this is great. So it's actually done all the compilation. This is now 
writing to the device. You can see the percentages going up here. Fantastic. So we've now got the latest version, which is 2.3.0 on the radio. And now I have downloaded that Lewis script. So if we turn the radio off again, need to disconnect it from the USB or it won't turn off. Turn it back on. Welcome to HTX and plug the USB in. We want access to the storage, so select storage SD. And if we go back to our computer, so if we go to the Zorro SD card and have a look in scripts, tools, you'll find that there is already a Lua script in here and the Lua C version is just the compiled version. So move that to the bin and go back to downloads where I downloaded that Lua script and we just copy that and we are going to paste it back into here. Fantastic. That's everything done. Radio's up to date, ELRS modules up to date, everything's running to the latest version. So now this Zorro is completely up to date and ready to start creating new models. It's pretty straightforward once you know how, and it's a good idea to periodically check the HTX and Express LRS website to see if there's new versions. I like to keep current with the latest versions, but unless I've got some really urgent reason, I tend to leave it a few weeks after it's been released before I commit and upgrade everything, just in case. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, why not subscribe, and maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel. There's all the usual social media links in the description. And I'll see you next time.